Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and pool fans around the world to the Horseshoe Casino here in Louisville, Kentucky. It's the 18th annual Derby City Classic. We had a record number of bank players already, near 500 bank players. They're getting ready to play one pocket. We got the nine ball event coming up, but this is becoming one of the world's greatest events all year long. It's the Bigfoot Challenge here by Diamond on this beautiful five by 10 diamond table, and we've got a matchup for you coming up. Two best friends, two road partners, and two billiard hall of famers all trying to uh, advance into the top four. Let's go on and meet the players. First up, again, member of the Billiards Hall of Fame, world nine ball champion, once broke and ran seven consecutive racks of 10 ball at this very event. He is sponsored by London Bridge Promotions, Puyat Sports, Bear Q from Manila in the Philippines. Please make a lot of noise for Francisco Bustamani. <laughs> This next gentleman needs no introduction. More than five-time all-around Derby City champion, world nine-ball champion in the Billiards Hall of Fame and widely known as the greatest player of all time. Sponsored by Puyat Sports, Lakasi, London Bridge Promotions from Angeles City in the Philippines, Mr. Efren the Magician, Reyes. <laughs> It's a race to 11. We're going to lag for the break. Scott Smith is our official. We're going to send it up to the guys in the booth. Good luck. Welcome, everybody, to AccuStats live coverage of the 18th annual Derby City Classic. We're here tonight with the first of the evening matches on the Bigfoot 5 by 10 foot table to watch Efren Reyes and Francisco Bustamani duke it out. I'm Billy Gibbs. I'm the host. I'm joined in the booth tonight with my good friend and Hall of Famer, Danny DiLiberto. Danny, what do you think of this matchup? Well, you know that uh, Efren Reyes was Bustamante's idol playing pool. <laughs> it was. This, I know. This I know. is like Joe Lewis and Marciano. You know, Marciano beat Joe Lewis and then cried. Right. Because he beat his idol up. So I don't think it's going to affect Bustamani. I know he's going to try because this is good prize money, 16000 to the winner of the tournament. This match alone means 4000 to the winner and a chance to go on further. Boy, that's good money, too. And I kind of see it the same way. It's a joy to watch Efren, great hero, and uh, certainly, you know, the best human that I've seen in my lifetime. But uh, Bustamante might have a little bit of an edge here. The way he played last night, I would agree. Dry break. I noticed today the break has been not generous. It's a lot different than it was yesterday, isn't it? It is. Oh, Efren's got a nice opening shot. And it looks well, like he made it down here to the two, but I think he got a little straight in. He might be in the pocket, too. Oh, boy, and he's hooked. Might be corner hook. He's he pointing. Oh, I don't know if he is. I wish I knew what they were talking about. I think, I don't know. At first, I thought Efron was joking because it's so deep in the pocket. He's got a shot. I don't know what the conversation was. And he certainly made it, so. The Nicely balls done. are tied up a little bit. I think he had to hop the point a little bit. And I'm not sure what that was about. Well, whatever it's about, it's over. Over. Well... Getting to the four ball is the key in this rack, I think. And he's done that nicely. Not real nicely. It looks like he is going to go into balls to shoot in the four. I think he can draw this a little bit and just stay right there for the five in the side. Well, he's got a little bit of a cut. He might be able to go one rail. He 
He might go into his wallet also. He's playing the combination. How about that? Trying to get over there and get in the 5'10 zone. Yeah, you're right. If that ball's close to going, then Bustamante is going to have the same shot. Can he draw the ball without hitting the uh, seven ball? Well, he's certainly drawing the ball. Came oh, in for the shot on the side. That's what I like to begin with. I like just taking the balls one at a time. Knock the ten down table and come back out for the seven there. Or the six, excuse me, I'm sorry. Seven's hanging right there. And he got just that. He got open. Well, let's see how he's stroking the ball. Nothing involved here. Got to come back a foot. Good enough. I think he can go two rails now to the eight. I like that. That's a good approach. Just come below the side pocket. You don't have to come above it. Now, he's on the line above the side, so he wanted to go straight across the table for the nine and made sure he saved that angle. I like coming over to the adjacent long rail. Hit this one and the one crossed. He didn't do that either. He just stayed right there. He looks like he's in good control to me. I heard some things earlier today from one of the people that are backing him in this tournament that he was feeling a little nervous and unconfident. But I sure don't see it in a stroke. Well, he won a bank pool match today, I saw. I think Danny Smith um, beat him in the banks. I was watching that earlier, so um, he might have got a loss there. Yeah, I saw him win one, but Danny Smith might have got him. Who, who did you see him playing? I accuracy? forgot. I didn't know the guy. I know Brumbeck's playing real good. Well, he, f he figures he's the favorite to win the bank pool. Well, you know, on the subject, and while they're racking, we'll do this. Um, Shannon Murphy's here from Cincinnati, and he's another one that's kind of a sleeper. He came all the way to the uh, semifinals with no losses and went through a record. You know, all the players he played were Hall of Famers. I mean, just went through everybody. And that included um, Scott Frost and also... Um, I'm trying to say his daggone name. Jason Miller. And, you know, Jason, even when he's not, you know, playing a lot, is still Killer Miller, as you aptly named him. Yeah. Well, anyway, both of those players, after you mentioned that he beat Hall of Famers, were, are not Hall of Famers. Yeah, I know. But in bank, they're Hall of Famers. Oh, is there? Are they in the bank Hall of Fame? Well, they should be. I mean, another subject. Nice break there for the second break. Three ball might go. Definitely. I'm, I'm funning with you. I know. Because I don't want the public to hear things that are not true. Well, just Neither one of them are Hall of Famers. <laughs> just to end the conversation, um, would you put Jason Miller in the Hall of Fame if you had a bank Hall of Fame? Sure. We do have a bank Hall of Fame. I know. And well, he should go said. in, but... Not Scott Frost. Well, let's see what he does with this deuce. Right in the pocket. Beautiful shot. He doesn't sure look like something's bothering him. Not to me. He looks solid as a rock. Now, as soon as I say that, he's got to shoot the four. Probably play it in the corner. <laughs> that might be a problem. Well, that's where to play it if you want to get position. Yeah, I like that. Oh, he missed it. And he did miss it. Yeah. He jumped up. That was a bad stroke. Well, we get to see the magician work his charms. Four ball hanging. Five ball takes a little bit of work to get on, but everything else is pretty much laying there. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, all in front of pockets. 
Six is out in the middle of the table, but I don't might think as well he's be. getting there. Went too far, didn't he? Too far or not far enough. And he's got a tricky hit. Going to stay this around the eight. Well, well, first he hit it, but he didn't nice. make it. But he might have got a little fortunate. He didn't leave anything. Yeah, that's a long shot on a 10-foot table. Long shot on a 9-footer, tell the truth, but that's I don't, tough. I don't think he'll be shooting. Come up behind the 6 and the 8, is that what you like here? No, I like going behind the 9. Behind the 9 with the Q? Yeah. Because at least if you don't snooker them, you're leaving distance. Right. If you don't get them with the 6 and 8, you're leaving them close. Well, he got him with a bunch of balls. And Efren has a little better kick now. Efren will make this one. Yeah, I wouldn't bet against him making this one. Well, now I would. <laughs> Well, I mean, that was a good try, and he did have a better shot at it. I agree with you there. And you know what? This takes a little bit, you know. Bustamani's got to hit this well. Well, I've been watching him now for over 20 years, and he hits balls good, so he's going to hit this good. Nice hit. He overcut Hung it. Hung it up. Got on the six, though. But you forgot the first part, sir. Got to pocket that five. Well, let's see what Efren does with this. Well, I think he's going to make the five. Yeah, and I think he's going <laughs> to get shape on the six. Played it for the side. Yeah, this is a nice little layout. Six in the side, coming straight across the table for the seven. And the eight right there, so... High with a little bit of left. I don't think you need any English at all. I like putting a little left on it and coming up above it. He didn't hit any English, though. He did what you said. Well, it's easier to pocket the ball with no English. And he didn't need much to fall on this ball. No, he'll just come around. Well, he's got a little bit of work coming back to... Off the 9 to the 10. But left a perfect angle for it. Well, he might go three rails here. You know, the two side ones and then the other side one. Right. That's what he's doing. Get it? Oh, yeah. Straight in. Good shot. And after the second game, it's Efren Reyes tied with Francisco Bustamante, but he'll be at the head of the table breaking the balls. We'll get a look at Efren's break. I'm kind of excited to see that, see how he's hitting the break. Well, what do you think of this lineup coming down to the finals? You've seen everybody play. Do you have anybody you're kind of thinking looks a little better than everybody else, maybe? I think Shaw's playing best. Yeah, I'm kind of inclined to agree with you. I mean, the break that he had last night was phenomenal. He was playing six ball once he was done breaking. Yeah. You know, what about Alex? You know, Alex is always so tough, and he's, you know. He's a tough competitor to beat, but, you know, I say that I'm not right. You know, every now and then I don't pick a horse race. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you're not exactly a multi-gazillionaire from the casinos, right? I don't play the casino gambling. You good at the dog track, I know that. That's not a casino. I know. But we were talking about horse racing. I was just coming around the bush and getting back to it. Horse racing is fun because it's a beautiful summer day. Nice to be out in the air. And I go to the track with... L, you know, five star L. Sure. Yeah, we have fun. 
Where's the track at up there in Buffalo? It's not in Buffalo. It's over the bridge into Canada. Gotcha. Port Erie. Well, I guess Efren's got the balls the way he wanted them. Yeah, I like Jason Shaw's break as well. I, I really thought that was, you know, very, very determining. I mean, hard to get by somebody that's pocketing three balls on a 10-foot table, you know, playing 10 ball. And playing position for the one. And playing position for the one. Well, the magician's winding up. Let's see what he comes up with. A little tough on the one there, but he did make a ball. He's kicking at this. Kicking very well, too. Well, he sold out. Yeah, that was a tough roll there when he hit the two. Bustamani looks to have just the window to come past the six and the two and get to the one. I'm not sure if he has to go rail first, though. That might be the best choice. what he did didn't get up high enough though well he's got a hit on the two he does pretty yep. thin cut I don't know if he's going to shoot at this we might be seeing a safety got a lot of balls to snooker him with just fly towards the uh, six ball he's playing the back it looks like And that'll let Efren have a good place to start. And I'm pretty Tricky certain Efren, Yeah, Efren's going to play this rail first. Come over for the three. Gotta be careful because the cue ball is going to be hot after it hits that rail and two ball. Boy, he hit it just like that, too. How nice did he get that? He got good. Good angle to get to the four. Well, he's got to get by balls. The cue ball's going towards balls. He might hit the four, or can he go between the four and eight? I think he can go to the rail and come between the four and the eight. Or play for the four Stay in the corner. Stay there in the corner. Perfect angle. He can bounce off the rail and get to the five. Gotta get up here for the six a little bit, so come over to the rail here. He may just draw straight back, but I think that, you know, the rail's the way to go. That's what he chose to do. He got good. Where do you like to play a seven? I think he'll play the seven in the pocket to his left. He's got to draw the ball off the six. Yeah, I like that. Got a little angle, but... That's why I say the left corner where he's standing right now. That's what he's going to do. Hit that beautifully. Came back nice for the eight. Boy, on the ten-footer, everything's a long shot, it seems like. Well, it is. You know, in, in modern-day players, are not used to playing on this.
Well, game three comes to a close. Reyes now leads two to one, and he'll be breaking the fourth game. After tonight, we'll have four players left for tomorrow. Three it's matches. Exciting. Three matches left. It's exciting. It's always a joy to watch Efren get out. There were a little bit of, uh, you know, some interesting shots there. The rail first to start that off and the rail first coming back. And Efren hit that rail first shot so well, timing-wise. That ball just floated right over there and laid there for the three. Made it all the way to the end of that rack nicely. See if he breaks from the same spot. Now he's coming over the other side of the table. Yeah, we're forgetting Shane Van Boning, too. He can definitely win. It looks dry Efren's again. Efren's got the two. Yeah. And he's got position. Position on the one and made the two. So three in the side, probably. Yeah, that looks like it. Pumped it. Well, he doesn't have it in the side anymore. No, but the ten's laying right there. Do you mess with this? You know, hit the ten, kind of drop the cue ball down to the end rail. Yeah, and draw the cue ball back, shoot the ten, and it could be a free shot. He's got that luxury. Well, he's not going to draw the ball, I don't think. He made the ten. Yes, he did. So the Musicians takes a three to one lead and we we'll break in in the fifth game. That was nicely done. I mean, when he bumped that ball, it didn't look good, but came out real nice the way it bumped. Well, came now that, that way. he made the 10, it came out real nice. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you mentioned Shane Van Boning earlier, you know. Two minutes ago. Well, have you seen That's Shane play earlier. any bank or anything besides just here on the Bigfoot? You know, out. I didn't watch. He was playing banks, but I didn't watch. You know, I always kind of notice as time goes on, he plays better and better. Fifth game's underway. Reyes isn't going to make a ball this time, I don't think. No, he didn't. Bustamani's got a nice straight back here. And uh, to be honest, it leads pretty much to the two. No, he plays safe real easy, too. He's going to hit some balls if he banks it. It doesn't go to the two. Look at the two. Six block in the pocket. Yeah, the two sevens got him hooked down. I mean, got the seven balls, got the two ball hooked a little bit. But he got over here to the five nice. Real and nice. That's real tough to hit. It sure is. Efren might have to go three rails. Well, this is that instance. We did a match yesterday, and we talked about this. You know, do you tie a ball up here? Just give him ball in hand and let him go from here? I don't know what you're going to tie up. That's kind of what I'm looking at. I don't see anything that looks easy enough to deal with. Is he going to try to mess? Are you hitting it? I don't think he could. I think he's going to go back to the three-railer, I called. I like that. But it's over the top. He can't reach it real well. But it's the best way of hitting the ball, especially if well, you can't do anything. How about if he pushes I don't think that's a push. It's How about if you reverse it? Oh, my God. What a great shot. 
Well, don't forget, he's a three-cushion player also. Boy, I'll tell you, that was a three-cushion shot too, wasn't it? was. Hit that with inside, turned it off the first rail, and had enough hold on it to straighten it out off the second. Well, Boosty has a cut at the one in the pocket to his left. You like shooting here better than playing safe, do you? Sure. The two is out in the open, sort of. Well, it's a little bit of a distance away. Yeah, but I don't think you're going to get snookered if you shoot the one. Yeah, let's see the three rail shot that he just made. There's the reverse. Boy, straightened it right up. Nice shot. He almost made it. Sure did. Well, Boosty put a nice safe on him. Got him down here behind the two. Got a good kick. He'll hit this. Two rails. Yep. Boy, almost he almost made, made that. Boy, oh boy. That's two in a row that have been tough to hit, and he's done a great job with both of them. Yeah, I don't think the one passes. I don't think it passes the six. We'll see. He's looking at it. It goes inside, but it's a very thin hit. Boy, the cue ball's going to take off if he shoots it like that, won't it? He might have a, a pocket. Yeah, he got it. And he got on the two nice, too. What a nice shot that was. Great shot. And he needs to get back here, so it'd be nice to get out from here for sure. Well, he's got a good angle. On the three to go one rail to the four. Got a nice open four to shoot at, too. And he did, he did just it. that. Perfect. Yeah, he figures to get out here. Guess he's going to bring us all the way over to the rail, the cue ball, and come back for the five. Cut the four on the corner. Good shot. Hung it up. Missed the ball. Well, Efren can take a further lead here. Yeah, he's really let Efren have a real gift right here, I believe. Balls are all open. They're all close to the pocket except for the eight ball. Close to a pocket. The eight ball and the ten ball. But I mean the five, six, seven. They're all open. Leading. Yeah. Well, nice layout, too. Not only open, but... A real easy layout. Boy, that big table table hooks you quick. He's going for the bridge. And I guess I should mention that one of Ephraim's sponsors is the London Bridge people. Got there nicely. And now back up table for the eight. No problems here. Yeah, Efren looks like he's playing real well tonight. I like what I see. He played okay yesterday, too. And game five goes Efren Reyes' way. It's four to one Reyes over Bustamante. And Efren will be breaking in the sixth game.
Did you ever think you'd see the 10 footer come back into play? The 10 foot table? No, but Pat has brought it in. We had a, in Edison, we had a, a, a tournament off the 5 by 10. Sure. And make it happen challenge. A make it happen challenge invitational match. And that was for one pocket, too. Eight ball and one pocket. I believe we did both. On the 10-footer. Oh, look at this position. Yeah, and unfortunately, he didn't pocket anything. It's going to be a little tricky getting to the two. Well, you got to dodge a little bit to get there, don't you? Well, you just want to get by the six. That's the only ball that can get you. Moosey's looking to draw it. The pocket can get you, too. Got by the six, though. You got by everything. Nice shot. Play the three up here in the corner? No, I think you play it in the far corner. Yeah, this corner up here where the five ball is. Yeah, don't do more than you have to do. That was automatic. He's got the angle now to get on. He wants to get straight in on the four, and he can do that right here. Nice angle. Nice shot. He got perfect. Looks like the only trouble that lays on the table is between the five, getting to the six, and making sure you miss everything that's still on the table. That's about all there is to it. I don't think that's a big problem. No, but it's the only problem I see. Pretty much the rest of the balls will be gone. You know, in short order, they're all laying pretty good. Not straight. You want to just stop in the middle of the table here? What do you think? No, he can draw the ball. He can draw the ball and get in the middle. Got to come with a good stroke. But that's what he'll be doing. No, he didn't need to draw the ball. He cheated the pocket a little bit. He got him close to the six. Came out in the middle of the table, too. That's a nice shape. Because now he can go two rails to the seven. Yep. That's where he's pointing. That's where he wants to get. Just about where the cue ball is right now. Boy, it looks solid as a rock to me, even with all the, you know, speculation I heard about. I don't see anything that indicates well, to me any problems. Boosty looks good. The only problem he's got now is he's looking at a 4-1 deficit. And he's nicely on the eight. Postamani played real solid yesterday. Well, I mean, there's no doubt the guy hitting the ball like this, there's no reason to think anything but good thoughts. That's for sure. You got to be feeling great when you're knocking them in on a 10-footer like this. And we'll see how that break works in just a second. Game six is in the record books. And Bustamani trails Reyes by two games, four to two. Boosty's got an opportunity. He's at the top of the table breaking him, so let's see what he can do. Yeah, there's a long way to go in this match. Two games behind doesn't oh, yeah. mean much. Well, early in the match like this, I mean, the other night we saw Chinoff have that 7-1 to one lead over Corteza, and uh, Corteza managed to, you know, beat back that deficit and win that match 11-10. That was, I believe, our very first match of the Bigfoot 10 ball. It was. Yeah, 
Yeah, I like what I see from Bustamon. He looks really good. Yeah, this is going to be a shootout. We're down to, what would you say, four players after tonight? After this, it'll be four players going into tomorrow after the 9 o'clock match. We still got 9 o'clock to yep. get down to four players. And stay tuned for that, folks, because that's going to be a great match with Alex Peggy Lyon. Well, that was a good, good attempt, but he didn't make anything. Came up dry. And I should mention the other contestant in that Paggy Lion match tonight is the one and only Shane Van Boning. So we're going to see somebody pack their bags in this tournament. And uh, well, that's only if they're not in the other divisions. You know, I always say pack your bag when it's final night right now no one's packing their bag because they are still got tournaments to play they well, pack their bags they'll have trouble playing pool that's definitely true but they'll be out of the bigfoot challenge one of the two of them after the nine o'clock match tonight mm -hmm. and of course the 10 foot table doesn't uh go into the points of the all-around. So it's incidental as far as points for the all-around. To the big money, that's true. But there's big money in this 10-foot, you know, yeah. Bigfoot challenge. There is. I didn't make 16000 this week. Did you? Definitely didn't. And you know what? That was a real nice shot right there from Mr. Reyes. Nicely on the five. And that's nicely on the six. Could come down another foot and you've been straight in. Doesn't have to be, though. They're all laying pretty open. That's the good thing about the 10-foot table. The balls are nice and open. Pretty much just got to pocket the ball and work around them. But you got a lot of room to do that with. That's why... It's easier to play straight pool on this table. Balls yeah, don't clutter they up. They don't clutter up. Mm, Efren looks a little miffed at his uh, angle here. I don't see why. Well, he got pretty straight in. Yeah, he did. Might have to draw back a little bit, but either draw or follow usually works when you're this close to the ball. Well, if he can hit the side rail with the cue ball like that. Yeah, he did. Forward is always better. Speeds are easier if you go forward rather than draw. Nicely done there as well with the nine. Damn near got perfectly straight in. He's got a little bit of angle, which will be enough to get down to the ten. Well, he also is close enough to cheat the pocket, but I think he's drawing. Yeah, I think you're right. And he drew pretty well. Got to shoot this left-handed. Well, he plays left-handed almost as good as he plays right-handed. He could finish pretty high shooting left-handed in any tournament. Yeah, I believe that. Certainly enough to take a 5-2 to two lead. <laughs> nice pocketing of the 10 ball there, left-handed. I heard Billy say once that he's watched Jeffron play for like 20 years, and he said he never missed a ball, and then he missed the ball. I felt sorry for him. Well, Efren has beat on Billy gambling. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. But he's a good hero to have. Absolutely. Is, look at that rack track. Bustamante won the first game, then he lost four in a row. Now they traded games. Well, I think Efren, you know, providing he can get the breakdown here, he's breaking from the same side of the table. Let's see how these balls react for him. Made a ball. Made a ball. And he's got the one. Made the four ball as well.
and he made the two ball. Yeah, he did. So he only has to go to the three now. Made three balls on that break, so this is not a good sign. Five for Francisco. to the six is the only problem. And the problem there being that you got to work around the seven and ten, just to make sure you're not hooked, right? Right, but the six goes in a few pockets. That helps. It actually looks like it goes in four, all four bottom pockets for sure. You know, the two sides, the two corners. Oh, might over hit that a little bit. It stopped. He's got the ball. Got to be careful here. We got obstructions to the pass of position. Right. Where do you want to go with the cue ball, Danny? What do you like here? A little past the middle of the table. Okay. So three rails? That's the way it looks, but I don't know if he's going to go past where I said. Yeah, he came up right in the middle of the table, he's and I think he snookered, he, yeah. He might be able to fan the six. I don't know. He's looking at it, but he, he definitely didn't come close to getting where you had to get. Yeah. Important point there. Well, he's got to come up with something here. You like the two-rail kick? He doesn't have a real good two-rail kick. No, I know, but I mean, I don't like thinning this ball. Well, that might be the best choice. Hit the paint. Oh, he's spinning one rail kicking. And I'll making it. it. Oh, the people love that. What a great well, shot. Well, he's going to have to make another great shot. Yeah, he is. Boy, oh boy. That was a tough roll coming up behind the 10. What a nice kick that was. A great kick. Because it wasn't a direct path. He, he had to spin left-hand English to even hit that ball. And he cut it right in the side, but... He didn't play good position. Of course, I'm kidding. There, you want to just hit the ball for sure. And he did that. But he's the one who put himself in that spot. Oh, that's going to be a sellout. Came out behind. He tried to bump the nine and stay behind the nine there. He sold out. Yeah, Bustamante gets another chance to come back a game. Nicely done. So when did you first hear that Bustamante's idol growing up was uh, Reyes? Years and years a ago when he people, first... No, a few people knew that right now. I really didn't know much about that till this tournament. Is that right? Well, I saw Bustamante pulling for Efren the other night, yelling even. So I kind of figured that he was partial to Efren. Right. And if you're a Filipino player, Efren is the hero of almost all of them. Well, I understand the hero thing. Parik has always been a big hero to me. I've always really liked that. We got the total performance average up here, and well, Reyes is at 918. And Bustamani shooting a pretty, you know, nice 848 on this 10 footer. Well, the reason you're partial to F up to boost, uh, what's his name? Perica. Because Perica played other sports. No, I'm partial to Perica because of how he moves well, the ball. Well, aren't you going to say what sports? And I know so what I could sport. Say you're going to say basketball. NBA, yeah. <laughs> you didn't give me a chance, so never mind. He didn't play NBA. 
No, but you know what? I'm almost like uh, Hunter Lombardo when you told the thing about the worms. You know, eating worms helps your eyesight. When you told the Perica story, you said that Perica could dunk a basketball. And I remember that, and I actually didn't doubt it because I've seen the springs in Baggy Lion's legs. Well, Perica doesn't have any springs in his legs. Well, I mean, I didn't know that at the time, but, I mean, I didn't doubt it. I mean, I... Well, Boosty made a ball there on the break. Okay, does In he fact, play the combination or the bank? He made three balls on the break. He's playing the combination. This I think it'll go by the six. Nope, combination, you're right. I've been right a couple times in my life. But I think that, you know, that might not have been the best way to do it because he's hooked now. The yeah. one ball came out on him. Well, he might kick this in. You like the two-rail kick here? I know that's one of your favorite shots. I like the one-rail kick. Yeah? Yeah, he might kick it in this far corner here to his right. It's going to come close. Hit it? I do. Hit it pretty good. Left Efren something to work with. Left a lot to work with. I oh, think Efren go can go one rail and put him on the four. He's got just enough angle to do that. I think he can go in there and, and put him behind the four. That's a good shot. I mean, I got no problem with that. I'll, let's see how he called what he intends to do. I, I wonder, you know, if he'll go... Well, he's doing something else, it looked like. He, he billiarded the, the four, but I don't think that was a great idea. He tried to billiard the four in. And he sold out. Yeah. Still a lot of work to do here. The 710 is a little funky, too. Well, I think the three to the four is a little funky. And I don't even use funky. I know. <laughs> I hear you. Oh, well, he got pretty good here. I mean, he could draw it just towards the side pocket and take the cut on the four. No sense trying anything else. Got to go from the four to the seven, though, and I think that's what's got him looking. I don't think that's a problem if the seven goes past the ten. I think it does. I think we got I don't enough know. for He's him got to... the perfect angle to do it. I mean, what's the problem here going four to the seven? There's nothing in the way. No, just good speed, and it's just natural. Cinch the four, and you're going to the seven. As long as it passes the ten. Oh, he it jumped up, he missed the ball. I don't know what he was trying. He's but trying to break the balls out, maybe. Why? If the seven goes past I the ten. I don't know that it does. It's close. I That's think what it I was goes. saying. I think it goes. It goes in the side. We're going to find out. Because eventually <laughs> they'll be shooting the seven past the ten. They will. Griffin's going to play a safe first. Houston is going to play a safe second. Well, that was a pretty nice. That was a pretty nice tag on the ball right there. Yeah, he used seven and ten to hit him. No, he got him. Bustamante gets to kick two rails, I believe. I like to. Well, then he's going to open those balls. Well, if he comes into the balls, he can leave the cue ball down there where the four is and send the four up table one rail. That's the way I like to play this. Well, then he's kicking to make it. He hit it first. He opened the balls, too. And the people are clapping. I don't think it's a clappable shot. Yeah, I think he, he got away with it, though. He didn't get away with it yet, Billy. I usually say that to in Cardona. I know. Your name's Billy Gibbacone. <laughs> yeah, here we go. I was getting this before we got in here today, too, from Renfro. So let's see what he does, because you know what? He, he'll this hit is it. everything. He'll hit it. Looks like the, the six, the seven, Boy, ten close. might be dead in. 
Where are you going, four? Gonna tie up. No, no. came out. Now if he makes this, the 710 is a dead combination. Yes, sir. <clears throat> He's I like that real it. good too, man. That 710's a nice way to go. He got there. Yes, he did. But getting there was the easy part. He made the ball. So he's got to cut the ball a little bit from the way he's cueing it. Very little. Got it. With that in the books, eight games down. We've got Francisco Bustamani trailing Efren Reyes by one game. It's actually nine games down. That's nine games they've played. Well, let's see if Boosty can get a little magic on that break. I haven't quite seen that out of him just yet, other one. Haven't seen the... Uh, Total breaks are four. Successful breaks, two. Total balls on the breaks, five. So he's 500, exactly halfway. And that's a good statistic. It's not a great statistic, but it's certainly a good one. Especially on the 10-footer. He's breaking from the opposite side of the table than Efren is. Nine inside, and here comes the one. Yep, coming for position. Not. He didn't get position. Does have a shot, though. What? Can certainly play safe. Just knock it down the other end of the table and bring the cue ball back behind the six. I, I don't mind that at all. You know, one rail to one, the other end of the table, middle diamond. And bring the cue ball back behind the six. Perfect. Perfect. Well, he, he got nice and behind the six, too. Yep. This Didn't takes freeze. away a lot of the kick when you get a ball that's close to the snooker ball. Look at that. An eighth of an inch. You know, that's one of the things I tell other younger players. You know, if you figure out which half of the ball you want to be behind, you can cut away a rail or, you know, maybe even a two rail kick, you know, depending on where the balls lie. But you have to decide where you want to be before you shoot the shot. Boost just forced him a little bit here. Another nice try, but nothing. Well, Boosty has a chance to run out here. Tie the game. Yep, ball in hand to go. Where do you like to play the two, Danny? Look at that. You know, it looks like the ten's off the rail, but I don't think it's enough to get the two by it. I think it is. You do? The two goes by the ten. So you got just enough room to do that. Yeah, that's what he's going to do. Well, he didn't have to. It goes in the other pocket without any ten. Yep. But now what do you do to get to the three? Going to go forward two rails? I think the three will go by the four. So you don't have to do a lot with it if that's the case. Could play the 310. He thinks so, too. Well, and he's down there. He, he knows. There. Just kind of come back a little bit for the four, it looks like. Nicely done. Francisco can put these balls down. He's going to tie it up. Everybody at five. And we'll have a race to six.
Nothing to do but make the ball. Yeah, I don't see any real problems here once you're on, you know, once you make this five ball and you're on the six, that's pretty much the way you want it. Got a nice angle to get down for the seven on the side. Which he's done perfectly well. You got the good angle to get to the eight. Might have come up a little short. Yeah. Just a little bit. Your That's wallet's what... going to be short. No, he's, he'll make the ball, but I mean, I think he he's... He's perfect. No problem. Except missing the ball. He could have got better on the eight, Billy. You were right. I thought he got good enough, but he doesn't miss that kind of shot. Well, Efren's going to get a two-game lead. Boy, Efren got up quick to shoot these two balls, didn't he? Nicely done. And the 10th game's in the books. It's Efren Reyes 6-4 to four over Francisco Bustamante. Well, are you enjoying the week so far? Who, me? Yeah. I always enjoy it. I know it you do. It keeps me in the game, pal, and near the players. I miss competing, but this is the next best thing. Well, when you said uh, like a year ago, you know, it seems like, you know, you're going to notice very shortly that on uh, Saturday night, it seems like the tournament began yesterday. And every year it's kind of like that. It goes by fast. Yep. These first two days have been exciting. This is the th third day, I believe. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It is. Oh, Efren oh. put it in the hole. Not a good thing. That's a bad shot. That's not bad luck. There's nothing kissed it. It went right in. Right in. Bad shot. Well, Boosty's got a good shot to start with because it's ball in hand. But the two and eight are on the same rail down here. That's Six and seven are a little close. But I think the eight is an easy combination. But he, he can shoot the two up the far corner. Yeah, two. I like that. That's the right way to do it. You yeah. know, don't make anything out of it. You know, the three sitting right there open, so he didn't have to do a lot. Yeah, where the three is, you can do this. In the 5x10 diamond rolls pretty true. Watch this ball. I don't think he's got a problem making it. Came right down table for the 3 nicely. The 4 is near the pocket. The 5 is near the other pocket. The 5 gets you to the 6 and the 7. No problems here. Yeah, that's one beautiful thing. When you break the balls on this table, they tend not to cluster together. The big table has plenty of room for that. Nicely done. Well, Boosty really needs to get caught up here. He needs to make this one and get another rack together here. Well, I think he's going to make this one. I think so, too. I hope so, anyway. Not that I'm rooting for Boosty, but I like to see it stay tight. Two great players like this. Mm, that was pocketed well. Yeah, How much angle you want here? Well, you can go two different ways. You can go two rails off the eight or one rail. I like two rails because 
Well, he got the one rail because the side is in the way. You know, you got to control the cue ball here. Right. You don't want to go into that side, and yet you want to be able to reach the cue ball because you got work to do to go from the nine to the ten. That's a factor. Uh oh. He'll be okay. Yeah. But it is a big table, so. He's got to use the bridge here. Yep. Got to draw it one rail. Nicely done. That's going to come down just fine. Keep going. You've got enough room to make it. I believe he can lean out over the table. He's keeping a bridge on there, but he's going to oh. have room. And he got one on the back. It's six to five. And Bustamani trails by a game. He'll be breaking in the 12th game. Second place pays 8,000, and first place is 16,000 for a total of 32,000 dollars Bigfoot Challenge. Boy, that race to 11's a long race, isn't it? On a five by 10, yeah. Good challenge. I like the Bigfoot Challenge. I think Greg's got a real good format here. Well, Mark Wilson likes it best of all the tournaments. He's mentioned that earlier, I suppose. Yes. He loves the 5 by 10 Mark's a big boy. Nothing hooks him on the 5 by 10 I mean, I bet he can shoot balls below the side pocket as tall as he is. Nine in the side. And the one. Where are you, two? Two's in the side, too. Oh, good. Or He's the corner. Take your pick. He's all right here. Cinch it and take the cut on the two. I like I mean, that. On the three, I'm on sorry. On the three, yep. Yeah, because yeah. you're over the top, little obstruction with the stroke. So take the cut on the three. You'd like to get straight in on the three, but where the two is, you're not going to. Well, and it looks like he can oh, draw he can past stroke it, yeah. it. Yeah, he can hit bottom, and that'll get him straight in. But he did it differently, but he still got straight in. And he did. And that's what you want to do. Cause this, you, the, this, you know, this is the very shot right here I was talking about. The cue ball's below the side pocket. Boosie's going to have to use a bridge. And, uh, you know, somebody at six foot five, they can just about lean over and shoot this without the bridge. This is the difficult thing. He made it look easy, though. He left a nice shot in the side with a four. I don't know if you've had a chance to look at the tournament performance average, but 868 for Bustamante and 870 for Reyes at six games. So it's pretty close. It's respectable shooting also. Yes, it is. And the score is going to be tied to prove it. Nice touch there. Boosty really handled that ball well. And pretty much he can just get about any angle he wants here and be right on the 10. So this is definitely going his way. Looks like after the 12th game, we're going to be all tied up at six with Bustamante breaking. 
And that's what we've got. Six to six, Bustamani and Reyes with Bustamani at the head of the table. 878 on the tournament performance average for Bustamani, 870 for Reyes. Everything's just all locked up even. You know, it's interesting. As I look at this, I see that Bustamani has pocketed 68, 65 balls to Reyes's 47 and nine errors as opposed to Reyes's seven. So that's where the difference lies in balls pocketed. But there is no difference. They're tied. They're tied. Well, there's a little difference in the TPA. That's all I was calling attention to. See how Boosty does with the break. He hasn't really gotten this as well as he'd like, I'm sure. Oh, the nine almost went inside. Yep, the threes can not go. He made nothing, and Efren has a shot at the one. Yeah, the break got fickle for Bustamante. Uh oh Yes, sir, Efren hung that one. Well, one thing I'm noticing, you know, on the 5 by 10 it looks like a lot of the position in these early balls, if they're even, you know, away from the other balls to any degree at all, is pretty much just bring the cue ball back to the center of the table. I mean, it's easy enough to work around it that way. Boy, these guys are lucky you're not in the tournament, Billy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm old, Danny. <laughs> you're old? Not telling you that, but you're yeah, youngster. I am. 60 years old come February. That's young. Well, Boosty, if he makes this ball, he can get out there for the three. That's one of the more open balls. Well, it's going to be trouble. It is difficult. He's going to have to draw the ball. Just Can't what he's forward. doing. And he did draw the ball. He drew it pretty well. Look, nice shot. Stick on the three. The four is inside good. But he has a little angle. He might go forward one rail gently. Come back up for the four, yeah. Yep. That's what, what he, did. he did. He got a little thin on the four. He's got to go a four few rails boy. now, but it sits. Yeah, but that was not a quality. The roll out there was too much. Yeah, he rolls it too much. Well, you always say pick which side you want to come up on the shot, you know, whether you want to be short or long, and I think he didn't do that there. He got funny here. Really funny. I don't think he can cut it inside naturally. It looks like he's going right in the pocket. Can he go one rail and play it in the side where he's standing? That's probably the shot. No, he said, I'm going to play safe. I'm not going to mess with it. And it looks like we're going to take a player time out here for a minute. And let the players take a break. Efren will be back to shoot at the end of this. It was Efren's call. And we're back. And Reyes is looking at the four. Danny, what do you like here? Well, I don't think he's banking at it. I think you got to play safe. But he thinks differently. Boy, I'm telling you, he banked that right in like it was nothing. Oh. That is something. That was a great shot. That was a really great shot. He let that ball open up on speed alone. And just Great cut across shot. it. He was betting the game on the bank. And he's come up nicely here, too. Yeah, I think these balls are laying real well for him to put another one on the board. Take a lead. I think he goes forward three rails. 
I like that call. But he doesn't think so. Well, this Perfect. works too, but three reels would have... It works real good. I mean, he's got the ball inside, the eight right there, the nine. That was a good shot, you know. Simplified to rack is what you'd say. Just go forward here a little bit and get a shot on the side. Well, on when the a nine. good player is playing well, everything looks simple. Do it across, playing nine in the corner, not a problem. And hit and stop here for the ten. Stop, stop. Heffern's going to take a one-game lead again. He's really led most of the match here. And you called it. That's Heffern Reyes ahead by one game, 7-6, to six, and a race to 11. And Francisco Bustamante gets to watch from the chair right now. Nothing else you could do. Well, Heffern gets to the head of the table. He'll be breaking again, certainly, so... I think if they want to make pool colorful, when a guy's going to shoot the game ball, get up and punch him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've heard this before, too. <laughs> I heard the tackle him, and then you look at a guy like, you know, Buddy Hall or Jeremy Jones, and a guy like Dennis Ercolo, you know, it's kind of like, uh, I don't like that. <laughs> that would put real fear into your heart, just getting over the table. But it would make Earl's pads make sense. <laughs> it would sell out, too. <laughs> yeah. Stands would be packed. Well, here we go. Mr. Reyes is going to break him again. See what he can do this time, folks. Didn't scratch. Came short of the side pocket. Didn't make anything either. Did not make anything either. That's exactly right. And he but doesn't he have much of a shot on the one. But if you notice, look at how open the balls are. I mean, they open so nice on this 10-footer. Bad news is you didn't make anything, but they are open. You can work with it. They open real nice on 10-foot diamond. They do. I have to mention diamond because Greg Sullivan has done so much for pool. They talk about this tournament all year, all over the country. They sure do on the, and on the Internet. it's contagious. People are, are going to come here every year well i mean this is an enjoyable festivity it's you know the longest or one of the longest running tournaments certainly a great all-around which i know he wanted to you know emulate to some degree the all-around that you'd played such a part in you know the johnson city I all like around. It, yeah two rail kick got and a hit well Efren's going to hit all those two and three rail kicks Yeah, this is no easy feat for Francisco Bustamante. Tough hit. He might have a one rail kick. That's all. Past the eight. Well, I don't know what he's doing. Is he going to try to reverse the ball and go one rail at the one? The long way? I like the other way, but it doesn't matter what I like. He hit it, and, and he, he made, made it. it. Yeah, but where are you, next ball? Yeah, the two ball, and it's behind a ball. And it's behind two balls from where the cue ball is. So well, he's got a one rail kick at this ball. He might make it in the par corner. Mm, you know. I don't think you're playing it, but, you know, you're going to hit it. You might hit it full and make it. What about trying to kick it up table and leave the cue ball down there behind well, the six? Where are you going to kick it past the six? He almost made it. He did. And I think that's going to hurt him. Well, I don't know if the two passes. It's close. You need to be down there to see for sure, but I think it does. And if yeah. it does, you can shoot it in the corner and leave the cue ball there for the three. It looks like it does. But there's a little angle. You know, so he isn't going to leave it there for the three. Oh, yeah, he could. Well, if he comes off the he side could. rail. No, he's all right. I don't think you have to hit the side rail. It's full enough where you could turn it in 
and just get past the five. Well, he's shooting it in the side. Yes, he is. And making it. And left a nice angle for Plus, the three. Like, you know, Mark and I talk. Whatever he decides to do, you know it's the right way. I mean, Absolutely. that's an extreme compliment, but he deserves it. He knows the game thoroughly. Well, Mark's not here, but I'm sure the one thing that he definitely believes is Efren certainly is the greatest Cuban ever at this point. I don't think anybody else has, you know, owned the sport the way he has. And he's not done yet. And he's not done yet. Well, nice come up there. He's really good. But he's got to get over there for the six. He might be a little bit straight for that. I don't know. No, why doesn't he go forward and shoot six up the far corner, Billy? I think that's the way he's going to have to go. Well, that's it. That's what he did. No position to play, just make the ball. He's he's making point. He could have got closer is all he's saying, but he's not going to miss this ball. But he he was not happy with it, but it's not going to change the hit. You know, he could have been a foot closer is why he's a little bit disturbed. And he made it, just like you said he would. Yeah. Don't waste energy feeling bad. Nicely done there. He's right on the eight, and well, these balls are pretty much laying wide open. He's going to get two games ahead. And it's not a place he's unfamiliar with. He's been there before in this match. Yeah, but when you're two games ahead and it's getting closer to the end, much bigger lead. And I agree with you, sir. The beginning of the match, it's one thing. The middle of the match, it's one thing. But at the end of the match, it's everything. And don't forget, it's his break, too. Yes, sir. And that'll put him up with a two-game lead. It's now eight to six, Reyes. Yeah, we'll see if he gets the break going, Danny. I haven't really seen the break performance results, the stats for that. I'd like to see those if we had a chance. Just kind of take a look at how they look. There it is. Yeah, it is. Well, that's the total performance average. That's not the break average. There's the break average. And we're looking at about, you know. Close. 571 to 429. Bustamante's doing a little better on the break than Reyes. Reyes has that scratch. That probably diminished his break average a little bit. Probably accounts for the 479, but that's still very respectable on the 10-footer. I can move the cue ball a little closer to the middle of the table there. Four balls moving towards the pocket. And You're going in. Got a shape He's on the one. He's got a shot on the one. But how do you get to the two? Yeah, I was just getting ready to get to that. That's not a very pretty sight over there on that side no, rail, is it? No, he can go one rail. You know, hit the end rail and come back towards the nine. You know what? I like that best of all of what you're saying. You know, make the one, draw down to the end rail, and just come up for the two. Hit the end rail with a little bit of right-hand English, and your target is the nine ball. Now, here's the question, Danny. He's, he's doing it that way. Here's the question, though. Yes, he can get to the two. Yes, he can make the two. But what about the three right here, which is tied up by the five? The three is not tied up. Right here it is. Three, no, it five isn't. right there. No, it isn't. I think it goes, but well, he bumped it doesn't apart. go anymore. And he got hooked. <laughs> not a three goes, <laughs> but nothing else. Yeah, he's upset by this. But I'll tell you, if you look at this, the three might be dead. You kick this into the five, the three might go. But he's not, he didn't look at it. Oh, he's playing the safe. A nice hit, too. Nice well, hit. He got a rail. He's, but he's going to be kicking again. Yeah, he didn't boost, like he's going to pan the two and go past the balls. He'll be kicking again, Efren. 
I don't know what he's looking at, but I think he's got that. But he's up at the table, I'm not. Well, he's going to cut it and do what I said. You go rail up first. To in English. No, you don't go rail first. That's what he's looking at. I don't know. You don't have to. See that? Rail first and come across the table. And he got behind the six. Nice shot. Oh, that's the big part of the shot. Nice shot there. How do you hit this now? I think Efren's going to show you a trick hit. He's got to miss the seven with a little bit of left-hand English and reverse the ball. See it past the eight? Well, this is why they call him magician. Well, he didn't do it yet. No, but this is why you got to fear him for something like this. Look, he like doesn't this. have a big target at the two. Look. Uh-uh. Hit it soft. But he hit it. And he sure did hit it. I think Boosty will be shooting at the five. Doesn't have to. He could freeze him on the three, too. By going forward a little bit. Shoot the two into the rail and just bring yep. the cue ball right into the three? Yeah, I think he I can do that, that. But he can also shoot the five if he wants to shoot. You know, how desperate does he feel being two games behind? Well, it looks like he likes your shot. Well, I mentioned two shots, so if he shoots one of them, then I was right. <laughs> I think he could have hit that a little harder. Yeah, he could have. You could kick this rail first and leave the cue ball right there behind the three and bring the two up table, right? I don't know about that one. That'd be real magic. Well, whatever he does, like you said, it'll be the right shot. Well, he's kicking at it. And he just yeah, bumped it. Yeah, he was thinking of getting him behind the five, but I don't think he did it. Scott said bad hit. Yeah. Scott was right there to watch it. Well, I don't think Efren liked that call. I think he felt like the cue ball hit the rail. Why is he using the bridge? He doesn't need the bridge. Well, he wants to be close to it. He doesn't have to do this. He could shoot that and be a foot further behind. The three is going up the corner. I'm surprised at that. He didn't need the bridge. Well, but it worked. Yeah, it worked. That's what's going to be my point. It's all good according to whatever you like. He doesn't have to shoot the four. He's got to stay right there for the five. And he must have wanted to draw it, which he did. Now he's got a good angle to get to the six. He does. Got to use the bridge again. Obviously getting that. Now this is a tricky shot. Don't want to pinch this on the rail at all. He'll be off the rail. Nicely done. Now he can go one rail, play the seven in the same pocket. You like one better than two here? Yeah, why are you going to go two? Yeah, just to come up to the middle of the table. He went two. I didn't like two because that gave you a chance to go behind the eight. Now he's perfect. You could. I mean, that's possible. But, I mean, if he hits this, he can... Leave a little bit of angle here. Shoot the eight up in this corner and come across the table for the nine. He's not using the bridge this time. Not using the bridge. Exactly right. Perfect. Oh, you're not going to shoot it in the side, Boosty. Yes, he is. Boy, he hit that very I nice. Could, he could have hit it in the side or the corner. I don't think he would have missed. Either way, yeah. Now just come across the table for the 10. And he'll draw back to a one-game deficit. 
with him breaking. Like you said, it's the middle of the match like this that, you know, is close enough to the end that two games is a big deal. And eight to seven. Ray is over Bustamani with Bustamani coming to the head of the table to break. So he's got a chance to tie it up in this game. And as we noticed earlier, his break performance average is just a little bit higher than uh, his countryman Efren Reyes. So, yeah, let's see the shot that Efren didn't think he fouled. I thought it was a good hit. And there's the rail after contact. It was a good hit. Yeah, it was. Bustamani was left with an opportunity there, though. I mean, even though it was a good hit, he was straight in the corner, so I think, you know, he would have got a good shot to start out with anyway. Well, Scott Smith called that bad hit. He could work for the uh, NFL. <laughs> Well, you played a three-ball combination here? Boy, I'm telling you what. That five is just hanging. That's what he's looking at. Five is just hanging. Yeah, here comes the one first. Nice shot. Made it. Good shot, Efren. People got to give him some applause. Does the two go by the eight? If it does, he's got great position to get to the three. I like the two going by the eight, too. That's the right way to play it. As long as Back it does to, go. Well, it might be the only way, too. You know, the side pocket don't look good. He could fit a truck behind there. Well, he got the cue ball behind it, so he got the right ball going behind it. Now you play the two ball combination. No, you don't. No? You no, like I think you go corner? right to the four. Well, he doesn't agree with that. But you can do that either way, but this way the four is going to... Right. Well, you know, the good news here is you're leaving the four in the side pocket, and you got something to work with for your position. So four on the side, come right back for the six. That's just what he did. Now oh, he's got to draw it to the end. Maybe he might be able to go two rails under the nine. Now oh, he's drawing to the end rail and going one rail. Nicely done. He got the perfect angle to get to the... I'll just draw the ball across here for the nine. Don't go across nothing. Well, a little bit. Boy, he was guessing there. He used some body English. He sure did. It worked. Yeah, that ball looked up like you like to say. Saw it was Reyes and said, whoop, better get in the pocket. And he made that. Made it look easy. Had to use the crutch. Ten on the side. And Efren opens that two-game lead right back up. Nine to seven. 16 racks underway, and uh, Mr. Reyes has got a two-game lead. Now we are at the end of the match. Two games away from the end. This this match means 4,000 to the winner. 4,000 to the Plus winner. Plus the chance to go further. 
Efren's at 882 and Bustamani's at 875 on the total Look performance average. Track. Yep. The rack track. And uh, Reyes put four games together there when he started out. Had Bustamani down four to one. Let's see if he can get a hold of the break here. This is important for him. Down here at the end of the match like this. See how he handles this. Well, he didn't make a ball. Didn't make a ball. And Bustamani's got an opportunity here, too. Eh, actually, Efren did make a ball. He did make one. So he's got the opportunity. One on the side. You like that? Yeah, because that brings position automatically, and you don't have much to do. Right. Mm. Boy, oh boy, that's not good. Boosty can see the ball. He's got a couple opportunities for safe here. You like hitting the uh, right-hand side of the ball as we look at this, or the left-hand side of the ball? Which well, way would you go? Well, if he can hit the left side, that gives him a chance to snooker him better. You know, the right side, you got to shoot a little too hard. Well, the left side. Anyway, you're confusing me, Billy. Well, you're looking right at the screen, so I figured you'd see right I don't think right he right can left. hit the right side of the one. Well, let's see. That's what he's trying to figure out. He's looking at it. And he's going for the... Split him in half. Good shot. He used the six and seven to snooker him with, but only thing is I found out... I think the... he came a little too far, Danny. I think Efren can see the ball. He might. See the edge of it anyway. And he can go one rail to the two. If he makes this. Now. Very oh, yeah. nice job of playing safe there, too. Well, I he think can it, hit the one. Could he make it in the side? I think he can make it in the side. But he's over the top. Came out. That cue ball came out from behind the five. Boosty did not make it and did play safe. Good shot. Well, what do you like here? Do you like kicking this ball one rail and using a little spin to turn it into the one off the uh, opposite? He doesn't need much spin. It's almost straight in kick. Gotcha. But try to glance it so you go the long way, like that. That was not an accident. No, and he stayed. That was but good he thinking. He left them long. That was the next best thing. Boosty has to fire a tough, long shot in. Position on the two is no gimme either. No, not at all. So it might be a wise idea just to play safe here instead of taking the risk of shooting that shot. You agree? Well, or the two is you almost got to shoot the one, but he doesn't have to. Depends how good he feels. He's shooting. Yeah, he is, and he's drawing it to do yeah, it. Yeah, he's aiming. You see him pulling back to shoot it, but he's not making it. And I'm not sure if he'd have made that even he'd had a shot. He wouldn't have. He definitely wouldn't have had it. That's why I like trying to, you know, do something in the safety category there because of the position of the two. 
You were right, Billy. Heffron's got a good chance of getting on it here if he goes a little further. He's going to be playing this rail first, maybe. Maybe. I think you can see this. He could, but you still might want to go rail first. Just to get some speed to get you out for the yeah. three. Yeah, yeah. Yep. He did. Made a good shot, too. He did. Well, he's in danger of getting on the hill. A three-game leading on the hill. How about that? Yeah, that would mean Boosty's got to beat him four in a row. And that's tough to do. Especially when you haven't done it yet. Oh, boy. He got on the four. And I think this rack is now in control. That gave him control of the table right there, that shot. Reyes is going to come back here for the five. He, under, he, he undershot it. A little bit. A little bit. He's I got think, a cut at it. Yeah, I think he'll still be okay. That's what I started to say. But there's obstructions. In the position for sure, right? I go one round and try to hit the uh, seven on the nose. I don't have a problem with that. He's coming underneath of it. Look at this. Beautiful speed. He's got a shot. He's going to miss the 10. And he's got to lean out over the table, so he's going to need the crutch. Is he cutting it enough? Yes, he did. Yep. And seven Perfect on the speed. side. Perfect speed. He's going to get on the hill. Yes, he is. Now, he didn't have to do a lot with a nine ball to get to the ten. So, what do you like here? Just follow forward maybe 18 inches, 20, something Just like that. Just not be on the rail when you shoot the nine. Yep. That's what he did. He's perfect. He is perfect. Well, let's see how nice he gets on the 10. Pretty good. <sighs> this to go 10-7. And after 17 games, Efren Reyes does take a 10-7 lead. On his way to 11, the first man to the hill is the great magician, Efren Reyes. And the TPA, look at how close it is. 885 for Reyes, 865 for Bustamante. And the three-game lead probably makes up that deficit there. You know, the reason for the difference. Yeah, well, there should be a bigger difference with the TPA with a three-game lead. Well, Efren's breaking about half, you know, at 556, so he's making a ball half the time he breaks. This would be a good time to make a ball and uh, get straight in on the one, <laughs> or a shape on the one, I should say. You're right. Glad you changed it. Straight in might not get you to the yeah, two. That's exactly right. Nine ball on the side. And one the two ball. got hit perfectly. One ball. The one got a shot. The cue ball would have been further away, except for that pinch that the two hit the cue ball. Well, all the balls are open. They're a little clustered. I mean, they're close to one another, but they are open. They will go. So one to the two and two to the three is kind of a big deal. At that point, it he's sure going to be somewhere he needs to he be. He got there. Got off the top of the eight either. He got that ball away from the rail good. Hey, this match is over. I would say. Yeah, I like that call. And he's easily on the three. Very nicely done. And he sticks. He's going to get perfect. He's moving at a good pace, too. You can see the goal line, Danny. Yeah, he could.
Nicely done. Now, can he reach the floor without the bridge? I don't think so. If he did, he might foul the ten ball. Yeah. Well, he'll handle this. Got a draw back here for the five. Oh, he didn't Not draw. Not so much. Oh, he might have to bank the five now. Well, I'm telling you what. He didn't draw. Did you see how he jerked? Yeah. He didn't go through the ball fluently. He jerked. I don't think he's going to cut this. But he thinks he's going to. Well, he needs to move to the middle of the table with the next he's shot. He's got to hit the paint. Which he, he did. did that. That's a good shot. And look at the speed. He Boy, fell. look at the speed. He fell on the six. That was very nice, wasn't it? Yeah. I didn't think he could do that. Nice on the six. This match is over. Three balls left, and they're all wide open. I have to say you're right with him straight in on the seven. Well, he didn't get straight in, but he got the angle where he can get to the 10. He's laughing because he wanted to get straight in, but he's okay. Draw the ball past the center and shoot the 10 in the pocket where you're laying. Nicely he done. He did that. And he's looking at this for the session. Case game, shooting the 10 in the corner. 4,000 in his pocket, a chance to go for the 16. And that does it, folks. Efren Reyes, 11-7 over Francisco Bustamante. Danny, what did you think of that match? It was pretty competitive. I don't think they played super, but it's a W. That's the main thing. Well, thanks for joining us for those matches, folks. Come back here, and uh, Alex Pagulian and Shane Van Boning are next. We hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for being a part of AccuStats live coverage. And for Danny DiLiberto and myself, Billy Gibbs, we'll see you soon.